welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Wendy and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. This week I got more fall items. I have some items for the home, a few beauty items, and just some random things, even some back to school things. So if you're interested in a specific category, I will go ahead and leave the timestamps down below so you can just jump directly to that um, if you just want to see a specific thing. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you guys the thing I was most excited about um, this week at Dollar Tree, my favorite thing um, from the fall category. And that is this kitchen set, the black and white buffalo check. I was so happy I found this, you guys. Uh, there was one set left of, of everything. And as soon as I walked in, I saw the display and I just made a beeline for these items. So you have the two pot holders and then the oven mitt and it's just black on the other side. I love it. And then the towel that says bless. And th these are so trendy this year for fall as it was last year. So I'm really, really excited that I found these. Um, the next item is just this little bucket and it already has the twine around it so you don't even need to do anything for it. It's perfect if you're doing like a farmhouse, um, if you have farmhouse decor, it's perfect for that. I also got another clip of these pumpkins. I hauled the white ones in my last Dollar Tree haul. Um, I will go ahead and leave the link for that video. At the end of this video, if you want to see my Dollar Tree fall haul, but I got the orange ones. I got some more fall floral, and I don't know why, because I probably already have some of these uh, in one of my garage totes, but I might not. I remember last year they had these, and these are the hydrangeas, and they kind of have like this little mesh burlapy uh, texture. So these were really pretty in the cream color. And then I got two of these sunflowers. And I don't remember these last year. And they also have like this mesh faux burlap going on. They're just really beautiful for fall. And then I got some of these dahlias again with this little mesh burlap. I just think they're so cute. I also picked up some of this ribbon for fall and this is nine feet and I love the colors. I think they're perfect. And I was really excited to find these because I feel like you would pay more at somewhere like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or wherever, but these really cute napkins. I love the design and the colors and the green in there and I love the print at the bottom you get 14 in this pack and then I got the smaller size and you get 24 in this one so this will be perfect for Thanksgiving and to go along with these napkins I got this orange and green I think they go really well to coordinate and you get 36 in each of these packs they also had, I think, red and yellow available. Then I picked up these burlap leaves. I think I'm gonna make a garland out of these. Um, you get five in each pack. So I got like the brown, brownish green maple leaf. I think that's a ma oak leaf or maple leaf. I can't, I can never tell the difference. And then I also got the red. Then I got these leaves, these orange leaves. Then the brown. And then I also picked up this 20 pack of felt leaves and you get four different kinds in here and then four different colors. So you get red, green, yellow, oh no, I get five different colors. You get green, yellow, brown, orange, and red. And so there's 20. 
And these were really cute. I don't remember these last year. These are like the DIY stickers and they're wood. So on the back, you can see you just peel that off and stick it to whatever. And they also had one with just pumpkins and leaves that were just this, that were just plain. You can paint them or whatever, but I just picked up this pack. And I think that's it for the fall stuff. So I'm gonna, oh no, I have one more thing that I was so excited to get you guys. And that is this thankful sign. Also with that black and white Buffalo check that is so popular. And I just love the colors. I'm not even gonna DIY this. This is perfect as is. And they also had the one that says grateful on it with the orange um, Buffalo check, but I, I just wanted this one. This is the only one I wanted. So this is going to look super cute in my fall decor. And I usually start decorating for fall on September 1st. That's like kind of like my go-to date every year. But yeah, I need to go ahead and get started on some DIYs because that's in a couple of weeks. And I haven't really done a whole lot. I've been swamped and uh, you know how that is. So Okay, so the next items I'm going to share with you are some stickers and wall decals that I found. So the first is this novelty stickers and these are just because adulting is hard and these totally remind me of those like e-cards and some of them say some really funny things. Um, my favorite memory from childhood is not having to pay bills. That was super funny. Um, I don't even procrastinate anymore. I just blatantly ignore my responsibilities. I just love these like vintage images with like funny sayings. I think these are super cute. So you get eight pieces in there or eight stickers. Oh my gosh, you guys, the wall decals are stunning. I look at this tiger. Oh my gosh. And then the leaves and this one says wild beauty. This would look so cute in a little girl's room or even in your planners or even if you wanted to put this on a canvas or frame this in a picture, it would be stunning. And this is what, I don't know if it's gonna focus. This is what the image looks like, looks like put together. The next one I got was this really cute succulent. Oh my gosh, the colors are beautiful. The little faces. And then, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And here is what they all look like together. <clears throat> and then this one was so, oh my gosh, I, I'm so impressed. But this mermaid one, beautiful. Look at this little narwhal. Oh my gosh, she's my favorite. And then um, look at the little unicorn sea turtle. I just think these are so well done. Even the unicorn seahorse is so cute. And here is what it looks like all together. Okay, so that was it for the wall decals and stickers. So now I'm going to get into the back to school items. I got this 40 pack of Jot erasers my son goes through erasers like crazy and so yeah i will have 40 on standby and then i also found these scented erasers and they come in five different scents and colors and i think this would be a really good item to save for teacher supplies i like to um, keep things throughout the year so that when the teacher needs something, I have it um, available. But this is, they come in apple, orange, blueberry, strawberry, and grape. So I thought those were really cool. And also I like to save things. A lot of times like teachers have like little treasure boxes or whatever. If you get like um, school bucks or whatever and they have like a little auction or item box. And these are perfect for putting in there. Um, I also have this eight pack of Jot glue sticks. Teachers are always asking for glue sticks. And Jot also sells right next to it the four pack. So make sure you get the eight pack. 
and I also got a 24 pack of pencils and again they sell the 16 so just make sure you're paying attention and you get the 24 and these are real wood number two HB lead latex free erasers and the con I kind of went crazy on the composition notebooks because they were just so cute this year. The first one and my favorite one, and I will probably be keeping this one, is this little, I think it's called a boba or coffee with donuts. And these come with a hundred sheets. I don't know if they're college or wide ruled. I think that's wide ruled. Um, but these are super cute. And the next one, these will, I will be donating. I think I only want to keep that one. This little cat one. The only issue I have with a lot of like the Dollar Tree school supplies is that there's not really a lot for boys. And of course, boys can like this stuff, but I feel like it's really girly and so we can't, my son is kind of older and a lot of these things don't appeal to him. So I wish Dollar Tree would start carrying more, I guess, teenage, not teenage, but preteen kind of boy stuff. I mean, they have like the, the camo and like dinosaurs and stuff, but I kind of wish that they would start putting out more stuff um, geared for boys, that boy, designs that boys would like, because these seem like kind of girly. But I, I still love them. And I also got this really cute pizza, taco, and popsicle watermelon. These are super cute. And the ice cream. But you see what I mean? Like, my son wouldn't go for this. Or, like, it would be cool if they put out, like, I know they put out Disney character stuff sometime. They could put out Fortnite. My son is obsessed with Fortnite right now. Um, that would be awesome. So Dollar Tree, if you're listening, start putting stuff out for boys. <laughs> um, then I got this really cute, it has like some like iridescence and sparkliness to it. These really cute donuts. And then this really pretty floral one. It has a little bit of glitter in it in the center. And I think I might keep this one too, just because I want to start a garden journal. And I think this would be really pretty for that. So the next items I'm going to get into are the beauty items. But before I do that, I kind of have a little mini review to share with you guys. If you saw my haul where I hauled a lot of the new Bolero products, um, I'll, if you haven't, I'll link that video at the end as well. But I'm going to go ahead and share some of these items because I feel like they need to be talked about. I hauled a bunch of these facial washes by Bolero. I'm a sucker for packaging and that's what got me. This is the coconut and aloe vera. I think I got like five or six different kinds. I'm going to tell you right now, do not waste your money. Do not waste your dollar on this. It sucks. It's not good. Um, this one says moisturize and brighten you. It is free of parabens and dye, which is nice. It has a lovely scent, but it doesn't really make your skin feel clean. I feel it kind of like leaves like this residue on your skin and it's like, it's so liquidy. It doesn't really lather well. It's just not, it's not very good. And I would recommend just passing on this. And then the next item I'm going to review is this Hydra Mist Coconut Water Facial Serum. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it's this serum and I was excited to try this and I have mixed feelings about this because I think it was marketed wrong. This is not a facial serum. This is straight up a facial oil. It has three ingredients and that is perfume, mineral oil, and coconut water, but it is, it's straight up oil. Uh, so I would say if you have super dry skin, like I do, this would be okay to use, but if you have oily skin, I would pass. It definitely leaves your skin feeling hydrated and very, um, shiny. So I would pass on this if you're looking for a serum i would pass but if you're looking for an oil this is okay and i actually 
think it's a dupe for the Physicians Formula um, Bright Booster Oil Elixir. So if you have been wanting to try this and don't want to spend the $15, $16 on this, I would go ahead and try this out first. Um, I believe it's a dupe because it gives your skin the same effect. Um, even though the ingredients aren't the same, there's a lot more different oils in this. But I find with this one, this irritates my skin just because I think there's so many different things in here. And I can't really pinpoint what it is, but I feel like with this oil, um, it doesn't irritate my skin. Surprisingly, none of the Valero products irritate my skin and I have very sensitive skin. So that's why I keep purchasing the Bolero items because I feel like I'm going to find like this hidden gem and it doesn't irritate my skin. Like that's why it doesn't really bother me about the facial wash because it was only a dollar and it, it might have been good. Um, but things like the facial wipes are amazing and um, I searched high and low for a long time to find facial wipes that wouldn't irritate my skin and I finally found out that the only ones that wouldn't irritate my skin were by the brand Simple and they can be quite expensive and I can only find them at Target. So to be able to repurchase the Bolero facial wipes for only a dollar has saved me a lot of money because I've bought 10 to 15 packs of those so far, which I would have spent a lot more if I was continuing with the Simple brand. Um, and the last beauty item I have to review, beauty health item I have to review, are these like hockey puck loofahs and they come in a two pack and these are amazing you guys I use these to scrub my feet so I don't know if you can see but on one side the loofah is kind of sitting at the bottom so what I like to do is kind of get a lather going up with like this gel on my foot and then turn it over and start scrubbing like around my heel and um, my feet with the loofah and uh, I should have gotten more, but they come in a two pack and this is, this is kind of gross, but this is what it looks like when it's basically almost done. So as you can see on this side, I kind of like use it to lather and then this side to scrub. And I wish I would have gotten more packs because I went back to the Dollar Tree and I haven't been able to find these ever since. And these are kind of pricey at like Walmart, I think. And they do usually come with a rope, but for one, I think it's like $3. So 50 cents a piece for these, I think that's an amazing deal and I highly recommend them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to get into are the beauty items, like I said, <laughs> um, but, or health, beauty, random stuff. So I found this, Pro Tools Jade Roller and the beauty gurus use jade rollers and I've always wanted to try one but I, this is not something I want to spend money on. So this is supposed to improve blood circulation, elasticity, and even skin tone, reduce puffiness and wrinkles, and tighten and soothe and minimize skin's pore size. So I'm interested to try this out and I will try to leave a review if you guys are interested. I also found these really cute face masks. This is the panda mask. So this is what it looks like when you put it on. And this one is nourishing and firming with botanical extract and herbal essence. And this is the llama mask. This one looks kind of scary. Um, but this is calming and toning with lavender and protein extract. The next items I got were for my daughter and they are these really cute bows. And this one kind of has like this mermaid-esque vibe. Really pretty. I haul almost all of my daughter's bow and hair accessories at Dollar Tree. And then this really pretty white one. And then this really big mermaid one. So those were super cute. I also got this spray bottle because for our hair, for me and my daughter's hair, because uh, the other one that we've had from Dollar Tree for years has finally 
um, broke. And this isn't really a beauty item, but I got these for myself and it's this two pack of socks and they have like these really cute llamas on them and then the neon polka dots. And these are the five to nine size and I've talked about it before, but I have pretty big feet, uh, nine and a half, ten. And the uh, crew socks, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, the crew socks don't fit me. They don't fit my feet or my ankles and they're really tight, even though the, I feel like the crew socks always have like the cutest uh, designs on them. So when I find a really cute pair, I have to pick them up. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the home items. And the first thing I got was this over the door hooks. And I've been wanting to get one of these to hang my coffee mugs on by my um, Keurig. And I finally remembered to grab one and I was trying to figure out how I was gonna hang this. But surprisingly, there's a little tiny gap in between my backsplash and the wall and it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably try to DIY this and make it cute and put it by my coffee maker. I also got this scarf hanger and it has like that velvet um, felt material on it to hang scarves. You could also hang necklaces, anything craft related on there. I got another spray bottle to use to make my own insect pesticide. I've noticed some caterpillars are eating my grapevine, so I think I'm going to make some sort of dish soap and cayenne pepper concoction and try to stop them from devouring my grapes. I got some disposable filter masks. I got these because I had um, been working on a furniture, re refinishing some furniture and I already did it and I totally forgot to wear those. I also got this sip -a mug for my daughter. She loves these built-in straws and I'm always kind of hesitant to buy them because I don't know how to clean out the straw part, but thanks to you guys, a lot of you recommended using pipe cleaners and I never would have thought of that. So thank you for that. This is BPA free and holds 14 ounces. And I love that she can like take this in the car and I don't have to worry about it spilling. I also got two of the Renews It's Blissful Apple Cinnamon Refreshers. These are perfect for the bathroom. And I think these are also a fall item because they have this fall scent. They smell really good. I smell the apple more than the cinnamon. I am not a huge fan of cinnamon scents because it tends to give me a headache, but I like these because you can smell the apple more than the cinnamon. I also got this really cute old Williamsburg coffee candle and it, it's supposed to look like a little coffee and I love anything that reminds me like or reminds me of Starbucks or a coffee shop. This smells really good and old Williams candles are usually the best candles at Dollar Tree, especially the ones in the cute little mason jars. I'm a huge fan of those. I got two packs of batteries. So I got the four of the AA and Panasonic and then four AAA batteries. Um, also in the Panasonic brand. I also got some um, bathroom garbage can bags and these are in the vanilla and they are, there's 40 in a pack. And then the last thing, I got another five pack of Top Ramen because these are the same price. I noticed that when I went to Walmart, they are the same price. They are 20 cents a piece, at least at my local Walmart. And the kids love these. I put them in salads. Uh, I just make them real quick if the kids are hungry and I don't really feel like cooking a huge meal. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, that completes this haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would hope you would consider doing so. And until my next video, I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye.